It's a wet and windy day today. What we're we on? I can't even know what day we're we on actually. Do we on Wednesday? I think we're on Wednesday. Um, so Miss Chief has been well miserable. Um, she's um, tried going out, but it's wet and windy. She comes back in, she's moaning at me. I've tried playing with her with the uh, special toys and things, and she just jumped into bed now. So I'm working on the computer because even I'm stuck in right now. Um, what I'm doing at the moment, I've just been sorting out all my playlists on my um, YouTube. So trying to sort of amalgamate them all into sort of groups and sections and in order. So it makes it a bit easier. So people don't want to watch sort of one section and it's easier to watch like that. And I've done it, actually done it from um, newest uploads. You've got to go way back to watch them. But, you know, it's just... So the more recent lorry life and that is obviously the, the top one and then it goes way back through the van life. It's got a section on um, Venture Over Land show and uh, my van life in Destiny is all in its own section. Um, and it's just, you know, obviously I'll try to uh, make it a bit easier to sort of... I had bits everywhere, so I've just been sorting that out. Um, I've also been um, working on my website and uploaded um, some more bits about myself. I thought I'm not going to hide it. Obviously, um, it allows you to read about my life, what I'm doing. Um, after a lot of chat with people, and if I'm keeping grace and that, I'm obviously going to carry on supporting the Savannahs um, and obviously also working with the community here in the community on a charitable basis, basically. So I, all in return for donations. So the more I support I get, the more donations I get, and obviously the more I can, cats I can help, the more... Um, get out there and the more people I can help um, so that will allow me to just do do what I do and in, in without any pressure um, obviously I'd love to have a charity but I don't know enough people I don't you know I don't have to do things like that so I'm just going to be a, uh, a, a donatable thing um, and people seem to like that what I'm doing and um, obviously it helps me myself as well in my mental health um, so basically I'm putting all my stuff back out there that I can offer and can do and for free and then obviously if I can get some food back or some diesel back or um, some money back to help the cats and things like that then it's all obviously uh, donatable and um, voluntary and it would just help me you know do what I always wanted to do which was like sort of heal for free and um, it's just special to me and it's a thank you to give back um, especially I could say if I'm going to have my um, debts paid off over the next year I, I want to give back I don't want to sort of just sit and not offer anything back um, so yeah that was that's important for me to do that um, so yeah so that's the, things the website also on the website I'm putting on more product uh, reviews and links to things I've bought and used um, affiliate links and also I think you can get some, some I'll be putting different bits on that I can obviously get um, bonuses myself. It doesn't cost you any more. You may benefit or it doesn't cost you any more if you just buy an item. It just helps sort of get a few pennies in, in the donation pot. So please have a look at them. I'm limited to what time and uploads and everything at the moment where I am. I haven't got enough reception. Um, I'm just put on my how, what internet I use. So my, my Netgear um, mobile broadband. I've just put a link on my website. Not on, I haven't done a project review on a YouTube yet. Obviously they will come. But the things I'm putting on my website, I'm adding links to YouTube when I've done a, a project review on YouTube. So it's all on the same place. You can just click the link, go and have a look at it, read about the information and purchase if you want, or just, you know, see what I'm using. So it's a general sort of thing, thinking of what, how do I get on, what am I using as a mobile broadband? What, what, um, um, who I'm using, I'm, I use free with that, but I also have an EE phone and things like that. All that sort of stuff will be put on my product links page. Um, I've added things like my testimonials, I've added things like um, all my drums are now on there, pictures of my drums over the years i have been put back on there as a gallery. Um, I put my I put readings back on um, as well, the emailed reading, video readings. It takes a really long time to do that, um, but again, it's it's you know I know a lot of people want to have. It's not. It's a bit more in deep in depth than psychic readings, but um, it's more a bit wisdom and shamanic stuff and all that sort of stuff as well. Um, so again, that's available to people as well. So again, you're getting something back for donating. Um, I haven't written about memberships on there. That's on the buy me a coffee. So I've got to also put on my website, you know, about memberships and things like that, which obviously looks like um, a monthly donation you can give instead. Um, 
so yeah I'll, I, obviously wildcat.co.uk I've got to sort of promote more because I'll be putting all all the information is going to be on the website um, and obviously my, my YouTube is just videoing my life you know and how I'm coping and everything um, so I need to amalgamate obviously the, the my website onto that as well and there are links on my YouTube to go back to my website to go back to um, all the donation um, platforms as well so that's it I'm just sort of popping in I'm struggling like I say for internet especially with this wind and um, I'm just we're just plodding through the day we've had a few mm, difficult days but at the same time we've also people are crossing our path which I'm so blessed and I'm so grateful for so thank you to all of you that have popped in gone past you know just sending praises over grace I mean to have people say you know they recognize me and, and they think grace is wonderful and it's it's given me um that reason to hold on in there and yeah obviously if I've got to sort of mend her and spend money out on her then I just have to keep trying to get the donations and offering things back in return which is what I'm doing um it's, it's not as much work with donations you know it's all can go straight to the, the lorry or things it's, rather than put a GoFundMe out I'd rather give something back um, where I can so anyway that's what I'm trying to do I'm trying to keep giving back to the community I know the van lifers don't know what I've done in the past doing a, do what I do um, my calling regarding the healing and things like that and I have to get well myself for that like people know that who are following me um, but it's just it's just wonderful those who do cross my path are really getting me and and that's what's so important once you meet me you, you get me um and that's that's nice to know that's nice that you know i'm i'm really sort of humbled by it all really and um the support i'm getting there anyway so i just got to put some sort of a vlog out here so um there you go I'll catch you soon bye for now we finally got chief back into the field just walking the lorry Come in through that bit and reverse what we did before. It's cold and windy, lots of people about, so just stretching our legs in the field. I should feel safe. I'd love to get across there. But I've actually come out with just the lead and no harness and no clip to clipper to me, and a stick in my sandals. So um, I might try and get over there. But there's sheep in the field, so I think we're just going to let her walk in this field here and just get her confidence. I may make my body to in, sort of go over there. We can't get back through that hole there though. <laughs> End up climbing the gate at this rate. But I say it's just to give her a, a bit of a stretch of legs. Come on then, let's see where we can go. Might be able to sort of get on the road and go down the road, but then like I say, after we're getting terrified of the cars the other day, I don't want to do that either. <clears throat> so maybe we'll just go up to try and go down there past purple van and back down the track. Nobody's about. What have you got? What have you got? Well, this will do. At least we're out. Best laid plans are the unprepared ones. Like I said, I've got no backpack, no water, no walking boots, no hook to keep hold of chief. But we've uh, made ourselves onto the side of the pass and just up in the cavern. So we'll go up here and have a little sit down and hunt up here. There's the sheep in that field there now. So we're just going to stay here. There's people up on top. I, say, I haven't got my climbing boots, like I said, and I haven't got mischief time to me, so I've got spare hands in case I fall. So I'm just going to sit here, have a bit of a rest, but you can see how far up we've come. 
and we're just looking down on Speedwell Cabin now and the entrance to Winnet's Pass. So many people have clambered up that side look, but I said I'd want to do that on my own and fall in my buggered knees, so I'm stuck here for even longer. But she's done really well to follow me up after not wanting to walk, so I'm going to sit down here now. Oh, I hope I don't find a thistle to sit down on. I let her have a bit of hunting time. Right, so we're not going to go further because there's sheep in the next field but uh, we've just literally clambered up there and like I say, we're not prepared and I haven't got all my kit with me so I'm not going to be silly, it's dangerous but as you see, I could have gone through there and carried on up I wanted to get to that tump up there and sit on Cool. I seem to do all these videos when I'm at the messiest my hair's a mess, no eyeliner on and uh, blown and windswept but um, I'm just sat at the base of what? The base of the start of the high bit of when it's past, just looking down above Speedwell Cavern. The mischief's here. And I'm holding on for dear life, it's not tied to me. Um, so I'm going to rest now before we've got to try and clamber back down again in my sandals. Uh, like I said, I just, spur of the moment, I just said to her while she was outside, let's go for a little walk, thinking she's just going to go up into the field to have a bit of a wee and a bit of a wander, stretch both our legs. And we carried on. So hopefully the dogs stay away. I've got to get downhill again now and that's quite difficult for me. Like I say, by, not, by having to hold on to her lead, I haven't got hands to grab all the things and fall down, but I'm sure she won't go far. Or at least she'll go back to the lobby if, she, if I drop her. But yeah, I'm glad I've done a little bit of a walk. We've been shut in and, not, and been very lazy the last few days. But anyway, good, good. Just having another little walk about. We've been up and down the road. We're in this little bit again now, so she's a bit of evening hunting. Just to stretch her legs again. She's going on a little bit more now because obviously she's getting a bit um, non-exercised. So um, I oiled the wheel up, which made it run a bit better. And she's been having a good old bad moment in there. Not as much as she used to do or Connie used to do. But certainly um, starting to use it again because obviously we've been shutting a lot more with this wind and the rain no sun again today but um i ran the engine again for an hour this morning with the jeffrey plugged in that got me charged up for the day i think that's probably the best thing to do it went up um 10 percent from 85 to 95 so um in i think i might have only been in there for like two minutes actually so I just bear an hour every day, that's obviously going to do my batteries and my jackery. It just means I'm always topping my jackery up the rather than letting it go down lower. So that's that problem solved. Um, had another surprise bag of food, dropped at the lorry. Um, I'm living on currant buns and bread and cheese at the moment <laughs> to last and uh, um, I'm not sort of cooking anything. Um, so I had a hot chicken dropped off for me and I made some homemade chips which is really nice but I'm literally just living on toast and marmalade and whatever you can do with bread I've been doing um, cheese toasters <laughs> I didn't have bread I'd struggle I say I've got a huge sack of potatoes but I even have something like that I can obviously do tuna and potatoes or cheese and potatoes um, I think when I get back I'm gonna buy myself a takeaway after not having a cook, proper cook meal for a couple of weeks. Vet rang today to say Ben his ashes are ready. So I said I'll pick him up next week. Um, I'll pick him up on the way to wherever I'm, whenever I go to Ian's. I don't know, I'm going to go head home Sunday or Monday. We'll see how busy it gets here and how hungry I get. And as I say, I've after two weeks of using the um, compost loo and cat litter, need to empty them bags. 
for sure. That's the reality of fan life. Obviously the <laughs> nettles get watered well around here with everybody walking and staying around here. But um, I haven't actually seen any nasty messes, which is good. I said at first, obviously at the end of the road, it's a bit more rubbish left and everything, but um, the only rubbish that I've seen drop around here is from locals bringing their dogs, even dog shit in here, and uh, tourists you know, dropping a bit of rubbish and a few um, weekend caravanners or holiday makers. Left a bit of rubble, but touch wood, it's uh, this area staying quite tidy and people are taking their bits back with them. And it is a beautiful place, you know. <clears throat> I'm still struggling to get my pictures off my phone onto my iPad. I've restarted everything. Obviously having um, limited internet doesn't help. It needs to have quite a lot of internet to um, pass them all on and load them all up. Um, so my interaction with the lorry man everything yesterday I'm struggling to get done. I did a vlog on my phone and I couldn't load it off. I shut every single program down, took everything offline and I still didn't have enough space to um, load it up. And I can't get it onto my iPad. So I'm really starting to struggle now. So I say that might have to be a delayed one. For everybody see underneath Grace. Poor, poor, probably been waiting for the vlog to go up. Um, but it will, it will happen. So if this one goes up before it, just bear with me. It, there is a big vlog to do. So it's just a nice, nice quiet evening here. At least we stretch our legs today. Yep, see you soon.